Thank you very much again for joining us, Lockie. First and foremost, the weather. We've got sun in Auckland, intermittent though it is. The first time you've seen this in a little while. <laughs> yeah, um, typical Auckland. We've turned it on. Perfect timing. So got to love coming home to Auckland. And yeah, hopefully it's nice and sunny for us. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah, it's just frustrating, hasn't it? I mean, it's it, it's obviously frustrating as a viewer and that, but it must be even more frustrating as a player with the stop-start. You don't know whether you're on or off. The rain keeps coming. Yeah, admittedly, um, the boys have been getting quite good on the old weather apps, trying to work out if we're playing or not. It's just frustrating uh, for many reasons, and certainly um, the last T20 was sort of along those lines with that sort of coming down to the wire almost uh, going into those last few overs, but... Um, <coughs> You know, we can't control that, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, we'll just take through that good form from the last game into tomorrow. Yeah, one-day series. Okay, one-day cricket again after the diet of T20. Is it difficult to switch the headspace? Uh, not, not so much. I think, um, yeah, having played a few years now, it's um, it's sometimes nice to change the formats up, but certainly um, have to get the old journal out to... Um, come back to the fundamentals that work well um, personally and as a team. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's nice to change format to keep things fresh. Um, I do love my T20, but equally I love one-day cricket, um, particularly in part. Well, and the last time that we played was the Chapel Hadley Series. That didn't go so well. But, um, you know, you look back to the 2019 World Cup, it was such a stunning tournament and that. Where is it going to fit in the future of New Zealand cricket, oh, sorry, in the future of international cricket, with all the T20 comps still trying to play tests, a lot of discussion around one day. Where do you see them fitting? Ah, look, that's probably slightly above my pay grade. Um, but certainly from a player's point of view, we still love playing one-day cricket and um, the Black Hats having a pretty rich history um, of one-day cricket. Um, it gives us more encouragement to keep playing it and, and loving it. Um, certainly... When World Cups come around, it adds that extra bit of excitement. And as you mentioned, the, the 2019 was, you know, a pretty um, pivotal part of my career. So very fond memories uh, from that. And um, certainly looking towards next year, um, it's an exciting time as well. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, yeah. brilliant. Yeah, I mean, look, at, and it's come around so fast, doesn't it? I mean, I suppose, you know, with COVID and everything else, we forget. But yeah, there is a World Cup next year. Yep, yep. No, it's the nature of um, cricket at the moment. Um, but yeah, no, certainly... Um, the team's in a good headspace. Um, yeah, obviously we didn't have uh, the greatest of times in Cairns, um, but certainly coming home and playing on home soil um, gives us that extra bit of life in front of what is going to be probably a big crowd and hopefully plenty of Kiwi fans. Mm. <clears throat> what was it like bowling to Yadda for me in, in uh, Tauranga? Yeah, good player, eh? <laughs> yeah, not bad, mate. Good not player, bad. sure. Had a good night out. Um, yeah, and it happens in T20 cricket. Um, and, you know, you have to come back to, I guess, the process is what was I trying to execute. Um, but certainly you, you watched the way the guy batted and went through the gears. Um, you know, we had some close chances early on in his innings. And when you have a world-class player like that, you kind of hope that those chances go to hand and you take them. Um, but that's international cricket. We're playing the best in the world and we love the challenge that comes with it. Um, fortunately, he starts on zero again tomorrow, so we'll go from there. Yeah, Lockie, when, uh, when he's hitting it like that, how does it change your mentality, your headspace about the way you're bowling? Do you, do you, know, do you, do you, do you obviously go in with some kind of a plan? If that's not working, what, how, how then do you actually rearrange it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the experience part, probably been there before and, and had guys flying like that. Um, clearly, we're trying to either get him off strike uh, with a single, which was the, the plan at that stage, and then if he's hitting amazing shots, well, then you sort of have to clap it to a point, try to park that ball and then try to execute next time. But that does happen in T20 cricket and um, you can't sort of take those bad omens through to the next game. But, um, you know, at the same time, sometimes you've just got to sit back and go, wow, that's a pretty pretty special innings. I've not seen a guy bat like that um, in a long time. Um, and then, yeah, the next game, he starts from zero. It's a different wicket, uh, different boundary sizes, um, different conditions and also get different sort of game point that he'll come in so uh it's exciting um but it's why we play the game so um yeah we're looking forward to tomorrow for sure might be a dumb question but i've always wanted to know the answer so you're only bowling four four overs in the t20 uh, you know you're bowling 10 well you know m m m we hope bowling 10 in the in the in the in the 50 overs is it that big a change for you and and you know sort of and, and what difference is there for you in the way of what bowl of what balls you're going to bowl or how you actually plan you know your, your the those actual 10 overs 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, without stating the obvious, it is, it is more loading on the body, um, and certainly building up to one day is slightly different. But um, you tend to find a bit more rhythm. Obviously, it's sort of between T20 and Test cricket where you can just bowl sort of good line and length for a longer period of time in one day cricket, and, and that's probably what you're trying to do, particularly early on in the innings. And then, and then at the death, you're sort of coming back to those T20 skills. So uh, it does change, but when you aren't changing the ball as much as in each individual ball is on a different type of ball, then that's a little bit easier on the body. Um, but yes, yeah, still my role very much is to um, bowl quick and, and cr- create chances, uh, try to make things uncomfortable or potentially make them hesitant about the shot they want to play and, and then get the wickets from there and... Um, yeah, it's a bit more of a load, but um, I, I thoroughly enjoy my one day. So having the spell, though, is that actually better? Is that a better feeling where you know you're going to get four or five in a row? Uh, it's just different. I, I don't know if it's better or worse. Um, you just sort of switch in and out of the mindset of T20 cricket and into one day cricket. And, yeah, you can build into a spell a lot. It's sometimes nice when you bowl your first ball and they leave it, and you're like, oh, that's right, these guys are going to leave a couple. <laughs> Um, just, um, that's always nice to see. Certainly, we'll go to training today, and a few boys will be leaving, uh, which we haven't seen in a while. So um, that's always nice. Um, but yeah, it's just I, I, uh, as a professional, it's sort of sort of chopping and changing with the mindsets and, and what you want to achieve in that format. Um, but that's the cool thing about cricket is that you know every different week we can be playing a different format. And look, and when it comes down to it, mate, you're still thumping in there and you're throwing it down as fast as you possibly can. You want to intimidate the crap out of them, don't you? <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, no, I'm a, obviously a huge fan of fast bowling in general, but um, especially when I'm bowling and that's my job and it's been clear for a, a while and something I really uh, love doing. And Eden Park, to kick it off, is uh, normally a quick, bouncy wicket and the curators there do a fantastic job. So um, hopefully it's much the same tomorrow and if... Uh, yeah, if it gives us a bit of steam or a bit of extra pace, then we'd love that. It's been fantastic to see you get such a long run back in the team without injuries too. I've got to say that, mate. Always a thrill to watch your bowl. All the very best of luck for this three-match uh, three series. Yeah, touched plenty of wood, but cheers, man. Appreciate that, mate.